nilikuwa mgombeaji wa MCA Hospital Ward. Ya kwanza ningependa kuzungumzia about challenges zenye watu ambao wanaishi na ulemavu wanapitia. Ya kwanza ni employment. Are you jobless? And what did you study? Napokuja kuomba kazi kwa private sector, sometimes wa wanatuangalia physical appearance, wanatujaji badala ya kuangalia makaratasi. So tungependa rais wetu watano ukiingia mwezi wa nane tarehe tisa utuangalie sana mambo ya employment. Aya sana ningependa kuongelea mambo ya health sector. Health sector ni about NHIF ikuwe free kwa kila mtu ambaye anaishi na ulemavu na assessment kwa each and every hospital uh, za public ikuwe ni free maana huwa tunaripishwa 1500 na sometimes mtu kule is 1500 ni changamoto another thing ningependa kuongelelea vocational training hizo ni kama wenye hawashiki masomo haraka sometimes wanaweza benefit na skills kama ushonaji wa nguo kutengeneza viatu kama hiyo umepatiwa hapo utengenezaji wa necklace na vikapu so tungependa zikuwe mingi vika kuna moja lakini tungependa each and every county ikuwe na vocational training ya watu ambao wanaishi na ulemavu kitu ambayo pia ningependa kumalizia nayo because of time ni, ni request hatujai kuwa na CS ama PS ambaye anaishi na ulemavu ningependa hii serikali yako uh, rais wetu watano kuna watu ambao wanaishi na ulemavu wamesoma ningependa utupatie CS mmoja na PS tuna watu kama Maura wamesoma na Sankoku na wengine wao so kwa niaba ya walemavu milioni sita tunasema ni asanti god bless you tunashukuru sana wangeshi Uh, tayari unaona Mwaura ni nominated uh, senator yule Sankok ni nominated MP so hatujawasahau sana lakini uh, tutaona vile ya kuongezea ndio muweze kushiriki katika uongozi muweze kushiriki katika uongozi wa taifa letu la Kenya nakubaliana na wewe ya kwamba hata ingawaje kwa sasa tumesema wale watu wanaishi e, wanaishi na ulemavu wa wapate msaada wa serikali NHIF walipiwe If you like these daily news updates kindly like subscribe um, e, pia upate ile stipend ya kila mwezi e, mimi najua ya kwamba hiyo stipend saa zingine inachelewa inangojewa miezi miwili mitatu saa zingine miezi minne sisi tumesema ya kwamba katika serikali ya Kenya kwanza wale mavu watu wanao uh, wale wazee pamoja na um, mayatima ambao wako katika program yetu watalipiwa stipend yao kabla ya mishahara ya wale ambao ni watu wa, uh, wako na uwezo kulipwa mishahara we are going to make sure that the stipend going to the vulnerable is paid ahead of any salaries that are paid because they, they are more deserving than the rest of us alafu mwisho tutashughulika na hiyo umesema mambo ya employment maybe uh, we will want to work on the law so that it is not discriminatory and it becomes sometimes uh, mandatory for people to be considered people living with disability. Asante sana. Asante. Thank you very much.